Hello, boys and girls! My name is Hotsusti and I welcome you to another day in Minecraft. Today I will start a new project right behind me that will eventually provide netherwood. In today's episode I will focus on the nursery part that will get us enough fungi of both variations to fuel the farm. Here we can see the uh, concept in my redstone test world, so let's quickly see a demonstration so you see how this should work. And then we will build this up in survival. So it's ticking, it's bone mailing, it's creating uh, all kinds of uh, drops here and every once in a while uh, these pistons over here will retract releasing the water stream flushing everything to that side where it eventually will drop down into the water stream down below at least uh, when the uh, these pistons start ticking again because there is a slight difference between those pushing the floor over and these retracting so uh, there is a gap where everything can fall down takes a bit of time but eventually everything will fall down as I have already dug out the hole for the basement, let's start there. I will present the final nursery in a short video post on Reddit, link below in the description. If you want to see a tutorial with the thought process behind it, let me know in the comments or on Reddit. To start, we have a classic ESO hopper clock. As it only has one item in it, it is fast and I can take an output from both redstone block positions, creating a tick and a tock. There are quite a few projects out there that would fulfill our needs. Maybe the most remarkable is the farm presented by Racework, which only needs the presence of a player. While it is easy to follow a tutorial to create such a thing, I mostly understand the concept, but the learn effect is near to zero. Therefore, I need to come up with a concept of my own and make it work. Next, there is the counter that counts the ticks and stops the clock until the timer is reset and some other stuff had time to happen. The output of the counter is then converted in a short pulse that is then lengthened again. These are all the signals we need. The nursery itself is a 5x5 five five warped or crimson nylium which is bone milled from below by a dispenser, which is triggered on the tick. To break the vegetation, there are pistons on either side with a one tick delay on one side. The delayed side is on the tick, while the other side is on the tock. To wash the drops off, there is a water trench on the side of the tock pistons held in check by extended pistons while the clock is ticking. When the clock is stopped, the pistons retract shortly, washing everything to the other side, where it eventually will fall down into another water collection stream once the pistons are moving again. The items are then sorted and collected with the excess going to be composted for more bone meal. The layout with the two basement layers worked out nicely and we even have a off switch up here. So let's turn it on and you can hear the 
clock ticking and as you can see it's working and eventually um, it should also be uh, washed away nice timing then in down here there is of, of course all the uh, control and uh, back here is the storage and the composting and let's see yep um, I guess this is the auto type so these two will then eventually go up uh, to uh, supply me when uh, uh, actually farming um, these are wrong here right we have crimson roots here um, that's also wrong and the rest should still be empty eventually we will uh, have stems of uh, both cans and shroom lights and those I will uh, uh, add to the to the water stream there then from here we get the uh, uh, bone meal from our uh, uh, supply line and uh, this can be turned off if uh, this hopper is already full so basically if the bone meal backlogs all the way to here then uh, I block uh, any bone meal coming from uh, in there because uh, we are self-sufficient so and with that warp roots and with that uh, we are done for this episode so hope you enjoyed it I had great fun designing this and join me for the next one which will be episode 50 so something different is in order I think so I will see you then goodbye <laughs>